Hello and welcome to the video. Let's go over my top 5 classes for AQ Worlds. With the recent endgame boss fight, it's pretty clear what classes are on top right now. Let's get into it. We'll start off this video with a list within a list of video. A list of disclaimers nonetheless. So, first disclaimer would be, the video does not include any calendar classes. In a lot of cases, they have the highest DPS, but they're relatively expensive and not obtainable for free. So look into them if you would like to spend 6 KAC or $20 plus shipping on a class, but I purposely left them out of this list video. The second disclaimer is this does take into account most roles in the game, but not PvP. I don't have anything positive to say about PvP, but the exclusion from this list says enough. Last disclaimer, this list isn't in any order because some classes are used for different roles and it wouldn't make sense to just do a list by damage per second. Alright, starting off the list at number 10, we're going to go with Vampire Lord for this one. It's a really good multi-target class that is very easy to farm and is attainable at slash join Mogween. The catch is that it's only available during Halloween, so if it's spooky season, definitely go and pick it up. I'm in the map Mogween right now. If you want to get the class, just talk to this NPC right here. It's in the merge. It tells you where to go to the Blood Moon Castle, and that's where you farm it. Very easy to get non-member. Members can farm it faster. Go pick it up if you would like a really good multi-target class. For number 9, we're going with Abyssal's Angel's Shadow. A seasonal version of the rare Abyssal Angel class that's only available in November. It's very simple to use, so if you're farming with it, you almost never have to pay attention and can, for example, watch YouTube on another screen. Abyssal Angel has a slightly higher DPS than the previously mentioned Vampire Lord, but sadly is only obtainable for 2kc. So if you want to pick it up, it's dead simple for farming and has some of my favorite animations only available during november so i cannot show you in game right now where to get it but it should be in the black friday shop uh, when it is available number eight is naval commander that's right the armor everyone afks within yogar is also a pretty good support slash tank class that was used a lot to fight champion Drakith recently one of the hardest bosses in the game sadly the class is only available for member or ac there was a trick to get for 200 acs but that was patched up recently so you do have to spend the full 2k ac or have a membership to get this class that's why it's so low on the list class available in the first room in slash join pirates so pick it up if you would like it and have the acs or mem to spend on it number seven is arch paladin arch paladin is such a strong class that it has received a few nerfs in the past no need to worry though it is still a very capable support class it's not a class that you're going to use to maximize dps but if you're farming a boss that deals a lot of damage to your group, it is a must-have class. You can obtain Arch Paladin at the map Dark Throne Hub. If you have not completed the Dark Throne Saga, I would highly recommend doing so. It's one of my favorites in the game. You need rank 10 reputation for good and rank 8 for spellcrafting to farm the class. The quests to farm the Arch Paladin are from the Artix NPC. There are two routes to get the class. If you are a member, you can get the Paladin base class and do the quest line. If you are a non-member, there is a free version that does not require the Paladin class. All of the quest descriptions are very straightforward. If you're having any issues using the new in-game wiki button would be the way to go. Alternatively, if you want to pay to win, there is a 2k AC option of buying the class, of course. The 2k AC option doesn't really come around for birthday classes anymore. So it's nice to see it uh, still a relic of the past on this version of the class. Number six is Stone Crusher. Stone Crusher is a tried and true support class that at one point was considered the best support class in the game. Well, it might have some more competition these days. It's still among the best at the support role. You can obtain Stone Crusher as a non-member free player, but you will need a few requirements. First off, if you're farming for Stone Crusher, you will need rank 10 Arcane Grove. Bright Oak and Myth Song. So make sure you have those. Join the Bright Oak map, and if you have completed the quest, click the button to join the map where you can get the class out of the merge shop. So click this map, that'll bring you here. Go to this guy, and there is a class shop here that you will be able to merge Stone Crusher if you meet the previous stated requirements. If you'd like to pay for the class and skip the farm, it's available in two different ways. First, the cheapest is to actually get a different class, the Infinity Titan class that is available in the Infinity Titan bonus package. 
you get one bonus package redemption for every transaction you make like buying acs or membership you can access the upgrade bonus packs in your account settings just click on bonus packages here and you pick the one you'd want you get actually a house and a few other things with the packs so definitely well worth it if you don't want to farm for stone crusher and because infinity titan is technically a different class the skills will stack with the regular stone crusher which is normally impossible for two of the same classes stone crusher is also available at battle on for 2k ac uh, the animations are also laggier for this class, uh, which is a downside in my opinion. But they also do look cool at the same time. So yeah, you can get either Stone Crusher or this one. I have both and I keep both in my inventory because, you know, maybe there's Stone Crusher in your room and you want to stack your abilities together. So you can do that, which is pretty cool. And number five, we have Lord of Order. I put Lord of Order higher than Stone Crusher on the list because it has a bit more requirements to farm the class. In my opinion, they are pretty close to each other balance wise. It would be situational if you had to choose one or the other. To farm out of order, it will take you 10 days. Yes, I also hate daily quests, but hey, it's a pretty solid class if you don't want to spend the 2k ACs on it, <laughs> like I did. Uh, but you will want to join the map slash join battle off and talk to Tracketh. He has all the quests you'll need to do to get the class. The quests are pretty straightforward, but if you get stuck at, on any part, like I said before, the new in-game wiki button is your friend. Just click on the NPC here, go to Lord of Order, quests, click on the quests, and yeah, if you need any help with them, there's a little W button in the top left. That will open up the wiki, and there you will find the quest you're looking for, and it will be pretty simple, but most of them have all the slash joins and all the monsters you need to fight to do the quests in the description, so really, really straightforward. Number four is none other than Lightcaster slash Light Mage. This class used to out DPS even VHL on a high health boss. Well, it may no longer be the case. It is still one of the best classes in the game with the only downside being the 1k AC entry fee and the level 80 requirements with a bit of farming they added on for the full version of the class. You can obtain the class in the map Celestial Realm from the A ranks NPC. So yeah, you gotta buy the armor and that will give you the class. It gives you light mage and there's a little bit of farming to do now, but it's still one of the better single target DPS classes in the game. So go and pick it up. It's relatively easy to get. All right, we're in the top three. Now, third would be Chaos Avengers. This class requires the whole Chaos Saga to be complete. Once you've done that very small task, head over to the map champion Dracoth. Talk to yourself. You will give yourself a weekly quest to kill Dracoth. This requires a competent party, but at the end of the day, if you can get a group together, it doesn't take that much in-game time to farm the class. The only reason it takes a while to get it done is the weekly quest, the only weekly quest in the game, mind you. As far as free classes that can be farmed in the game, it's the second highest DPS class. It's also really tanky and can pull focus making itself great for team fights. Don't quote me on the second highest DPS thing. As far as I can tell, it's right under the top. Uh, it's very good and much better than Lightcaster, the fourth slot. So yeah, go farm this. You need a confident team, but you should be able to get it done. I believe in you. Use some potions. Good luck. A quick side note, I would put Master Moglins on this list, but it recently went rare. And even if it was not, you could buy five counter classes from here, Mart, uh, price of shipping not included for the price of just Master of Moglins. So yeah, the fact that it's rare and the fact that it's very, very expensive uh, would kind of make it off this list, but it is one of the highest DPS classes in the game, very pay to win. If it ever becomes unrare or not rare anymore, yeah, definitely a class you might want to consider if money isn't an object, but still. Anyway, moving on to a class that doesn't cost any money. Number two is Legion Revenant. Legion Revenant is one of the highest DPS, if not the highest DPS multi-target farming class in the game and is non-member, with the only downsides being the time it takes to farm, no daily quests thankfully, and the fact that you have to be a member of the Legion. I would explain the best way to join the Legion in this video, that would take way too long, so check the card in the top right of the video for a guide on the cheapest way to join the Legion. Once you're in the Legion, you need a Dark Caster class. You can get one at Slush Twin Underworld for 2,000 Legion tokens. 
to get it if you've never been to underworld just head to the right two rooms it'll bring you to a little like forge place and talk to the npc there he'll sell you the class for 2k tokens in this room once you have dark caster just head over to the map of revenant where you can talk to the npc and do the farming quests to get the class so these farming quests will take you a lot of time this is an end game uh, similar to other end game classes so yeah set aside a bunch of time to farm this out it's going to take you a while all right the last one up number one void high lord yeah you guessed it so void high lord actually got a massive buff this year making it even stronger so even in longer fights other classes like lightcaster are laughed at the class is so good and over time it seems to be getting even better i've started to call it the protagonist class for the game just like your favorite anime protagonist, this class gets stronger over time, and if a stronger opponent ever pops up, like a free counter class for example, it's going to get stronger to be able to keep up with that opponent. I feel that it's a safe bet to spend your time farming this class if you have not farmed it already. The plot armor it has should keep it at first on lists like this even in years to come. If you would like to farm it, I have great news, it's farmable for non-members, although paid AC pets will help you farm it a lot faster. I can't go fully into a whole farm guide right here. There are other videos on YouTube that are 20 minutes plus in length that will tell you how to farm it. If you'd like to start to farm this class and look at the quest, you can join someone's house that has the portal to where you need to go. It's the fastest way to do it. I joined STU's house. You need 50 bone dust to go through the portal. You get that at battle under B, the map. So I already have that. You just go to Therese through the portal brings you here now you follow my movements if you want to get to VHL if I remembered it I've been here a few times I'm almost done farming VHL myself uh, I'll have it very soon but I'm very confident in putting at number one even without having the class because it's just that good and you can tell it's just that good so right here is where you get the class takes a quite a few dailies to get but once you're done all those you'll have it this does look like a long list that might seem that hard, but it actually doesn't take that much time uh, to do every day. It was a lot faster than I thought it would be, although I do have a lot of the uh, pay to win pets that I mentioned earlier, so that might be a factor in why I thought it was so easy, but yeah, check it out. It was easier than I expected, so maybe it will be for you as well. All right, that is it for the top 10 best classes in AQ. In my opinion, let me know in the comments what classes you think I missed or what changes you would make to the list. Leave a like on the video if you liked it. Thanks for watching. Get subscribed to the channel if you are not already. I upload content like this oh, about once per year. <laughs> so yeah, hit subscribe if you want to subscribe. Leave a like if you liked it. I actually scripted this video out if you couldn't tell uh, from the weird cadence and everything. But uh, let me know what you think of the scripted content. Maybe I'll do some more of it in the future. But uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.